All right, BFIT Nation, welcome back. I'll let everyone get settled in here. Welcome back to another Motivation Monday, another chance for you to build off your previous week's workouts here. So again, BFIT Live coming to you from nice and cool outdoor Dallas, Texas. Let me know where you're filming from. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me, where, where you, let me know where you're working out from. I saw some really cool uh, comments last weekend, or last Monday, actually, rather, uh, from, from anything in the snow. Let me know if you're working out in the snow. Throw some photos in the comments below. Um, if you were joining from, uh, I saw some photos from the pool, uh, getting that aerobic uh, heart rate elevated. So again, BFIT Live is programmed to incorporate a full body workout here. Uh, we are looking to target every muscle group possible, as many as we can within our 30 minute time frame here. So we're setting aside 30 minutes of our day this Monday to focus on ourselves, to focus on our health and our wellness and strengthening. So, uh, with that, my name is Roy. Uh, the program for today, I'll go through the workouts. Uh, then we will jump some dynamic stretching to get our mind and our bodies prepared for the workout ahead. And then we will jump in to tackle the workout here. So today's workout, exercise number one, and I'll follow with some demos. We have 45 degree lunges with a circle. So with an arm circle. So this is a little different for us. It's something new that we are building off of uh, last week. We did lunges with a twist. This week, we are going to go overhead and incorporating that abdominal, that core strength and stability uh, with a, an arm circle. So I'll go through that in a moment with you all. Uh, exercise number two is gonna be a bent over row. And we will scale this up or scale this down uh, to our levels here. Exercise number three will be a squat to overhead press. And in exercise number four, we are jumping into key pushups, okay? So I'll run through these demos so that way there are no surprises. That way we know exactly what we're gonna tackle as we go through the workout here. Our timing for today, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We will have four rounds and we'll have one minute rest in between each round. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Four, those four exercises at four rounds with one minute rest in between each round. So with that, go ahead and grab any resistance that you may have if you have dumbbells available to you. If you have um, gallons of water or something that can challenge you to add a little bit of resistance, go ahead and grab that. If you have a band uh, and, and you'd like to incorporate that into some of these movements, I'll go ahead and show how you can incorporate a band into a few of these movements as well. Um, so again, welcome to BFIT Live. Let me know where you're watching from. Uh, go ahead and demo these four movements for you and then we'll jump into some dynamic stretching, okay? So exercise number one is gonna be a 45 degree lunge with an, with a, with an arm circle. So I'm gonna grab, let's grab this gallon of water. Uh, we'll pretend this is a, a medicine ball, a med ball, any weight of your choosing, something that's challenging for you, but yet comfortable. So I have it at my right hip here. I'm going to extend my lunge at a 45 degree angle. While I do that, I'm going to bring that med ball over or a gallon of water, and it's going to go right down by my left lunge here, and then back up top. We are gonna stay with the same leg here for 20 seconds, and then we will alternate over to our right leg. So again, our weight is going to be at the opposing side of the lunge here, 45 degree lunge, and back up top, okay? Again, we are working on a little bit of stability here, a little bit of balance, some arm movement, mobility, and some core stabilization with that movement there. Okay, that's exercise number one. Exercise number two, I know we've tackled these before. We're gonna, we're gonna grab our resistance here. Now, if you have plates, I have dumbbells here, plates, I have a band, so we are going to hinge at the hip here dropping our weight down right by our knee. And we are gonna raise those elbows up towards the sky, squeezing our shoulder blades together. 
and control the weight back down again. These are gonna be bent over rows. So if you have a plate there, if you have dumbbells, hinging at the hips, dropping that weight down by your knee, squeezing that core nice and tight, driving those elbows back up towards the sky, keeping that head neutral and squeezing those shoulder blades together. Now, a little bit, uh, an, an option for you here, if you are seated or if you have a band available to you, same row movement here, go ahead and grab that band and squeeze like so, okay? So this will take that hinge movement out of, the, out of the equation. If you have any lower back pain or issue, that will take that movement, again, out of the equation. And we are just going to focus on standing and squeezing. If you have a band to add resistance, that's great. If not, if we are seated, I want you to go ahead and just bend over and squeeze your shoulder blades together like this. Okay, so you're just at a slight bend forward, chest is still up, nice strong fist, and you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together for a count of two, one, two, and slowly lower back down. One, two, and that is gonna be the bent over row. Again, that, uh, the, ob the object here is to target our lats and our mid to upper back, and a little bit of our traps as well. Okay, exercise number three, a squat to press here. If we have, again, if we have any, uh, if you have a med ball, if you have a gallon of water, if you have a dumbbell, let's go ahead and grab that. We are going into a squat to overhead press. We wanna make sure that we pick up our resistance from right underneath us, right at our feet here. Go ahead and rack it up top at your chest. We are gonna hold that weight at chest level, squat down, and then press overhead to incorporate some shoulder strength here and shoulder work. Okay, so lower body movement here into an upper body movement. Squat to overhead press is exercise number three. And then exercise number four, we haven't done this one in a while. I'll bring this down here so you can see here. We are going into a T push up. So exercise number four, we are down into a push up and we're gonna rotate open, bringing that hand tall while our gaze follows that hand. Nice and controlled, nice and smooth for 40 seconds of work here. Again, this is a T push-up, opening up nice and tall, nice and wide. All right, that's gonna be exercise number four. That's gonna finish us out for the one round of workout, of, of the workout, and then we'll jump into, again, four total rounds. So with that, go ahead and grab your towel, grab your water, towel off, and let's get ready uh, for some dynamic stretching here. Clear some room here. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know where you're joining us from. BFIT Live brought to you by our Exchange BFIT program. I know it may be tough to keep moving, cooler weather like it is here. Maybe not snow, but again, let me know. And let's go into some dynamic stretching here. Again, this is the time to, to get our bodies nice and warm, get that blood flow moving, get that circulation, get that flexibility into our body parts that we are gonna be utilizing for today. So let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch here. We're gonna take that right leg, extend it back, You'll feel that stretch in your hamstring, in your hip flexors, your psoas region, and extending that left arm all the way up, nice and tall, pushing those hips forward. And we're gonna alternate from left leg, right arm, right arm, left leg. Nice and smooth here. We're gonna work for about 30 seconds for each one of these dynamic stretches. You can go at your own pace throughout the whole workout, but more so during this dynamic stretching. Feeling your body out. Seeing how you're gonna to react today, seeing what part of your body is tight. Reverse lunges with reaches here, right leg back, overhead reach, and we're back to the top of the mat here. 
If you were like me, I sat a little more than I'm used to over the weekend. <laughs> so my hips are really tight. So <laughs> I'm gonna take this, <clears throat> take this time to really stretch out my hips, my hip flexors, get some blood flowing to my legs, shoulders, lats with that stretch overhead. Make sure and alternate here. Again, scanning your body. See where you may be tight at. One more here. Lateral lunges are up next. Feet are gonna be fixed forward straight out. And we're just gonna slide left to right here, lateral lunges. Again, the majority of your weight is gonna be on your heels. With any type of lunge or squat movement, you want a lot of your weight on those heels. So we're just slowly warming up these legs. You can feel some blood flow into your quads. Stretch in the inner thigh here. Nothing too aggressive. A few more seconds here. Four, three, two, one. All right, let's go to some hip circles here. Right leg forward, right leg back. Left leg back, left leg forward, right leg back, forward. Let's repeat here. Again, this can help with opening up those hips to get you in a better squat, a better lunge depth. Get you warmed up and loose. Ready to tackle some of these lower body movements for today. Okay, let's go into some lower body squats here. Again, we have squat presses coming up in our third exercise. So this is a great way with your body weight to warm up, warm up this movement here, get you ready to go. That way, when you get into that third exercise, you can choose to scale up and add some weight, add some resistance to add a load to that lower body for a little bit more challenge here. All right, let's go into some YTWs here. I know we have some shoulder work and some upper to mid back work. So we're gonna make a big Y here from center. Big Y stretching both shoulder blades, pressing them together, a big T and a big W. Again, the goal is to get some blood flow to your shoulders, to your traps, to your mid to upper back. Good, so really squeeze. Take that moment to squeeze at the top, extending all the way out, extending left to right as far as you can. Big W sign here, showing off those biceps because we've been working them week after week. Last rep here, T. <laughs> Last W here. All right. Good job, team. Let's go. Let's uh, towel off. Let's grab some water. Stay hydrated here. The most important part of working out, challenging yourself, but stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. I know with the cooler weather, it may seem like we don't perspire as much during a hot day, but let's stay hydrated. All right, team, with that, let's jump into our workout. Again, 45 degree lunges with the circles. Go ahead and add some resistance. A lot of water here. We're starting in 10. Again, 45 degree lunges. You're gonna reach overhead and that weight's gonna come right next to your leg. Left leg lunging, 45 degree. Let's start, team. We're doing 40, 40 seconds of work here. Just like our standard lunge, but in a 45 degree angle. Five more seconds and we are gonna alternate legs. Two, one, back to the top of your mat. Weight is in the left hip, transferring over to the right side here. 
Nice and smooth here, 10 more seconds. First round, we'll learn it. Second round, we will own it. Two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here on the clock. Bent over rows are up next. Again, if you have a band that you'd like to incorporate instead of the resistance dumbbells, feel free here. Five seconds of rest here. And we will jump into our bent over row. All right, here we go, team. 40 seconds of work. Grabbing the weight here. Feet are shoulder width apart, hinging at the hips. Flat back, head is looking in a neutral position, which means your head, your spine, your neck, relatively straight line. You're squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top. If you don't have any resistance, go ahead and make that strong fist here, squeezing at the top. Nice and controlled down. Squeeze both shoulder blades together. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, good work, good work. All right, team, squat to overhead press in 15 seconds. Again, if you have any water, I use a gallon of water just because it's so convenient. It's always around the house here. Squat to overhead press in two, one, and we're working, team. Again, we wanna make sure we drop those hips back first, lead with the hips back. Drop into our comfort level or to our knee line. Keeping that back straight here, keeping that back flat. Try not to round out here. Keeping those elbows tucked in and you're pressing that weight overhead, utilizing your shoulder strength. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Good job, team. Good job, team. 20 seconds of rest here. And we have T push ups coming up in 15 seconds. All right. We're working here. We're moving. We are warming up here. All right. Two, one. Down into a push up. Left arm rotates to the top. Follow your fingertips with your gaze. Again, your hands should be tracking underneath your shoulders, your neck, your spine to your heels. Relatively straight line here. If we need to drop down to our knees, let's go ahead and do that team. Five seconds here. <laughs> Three, two, one. Awesome job, awesome job. One round down, three more to go. We are just getting warmed up, guys. Just getting warmed up, team. How are we doing, how are we doing? We have 45 seconds of rest and we will jump into that second round of the workout. It's hard to believe we have 25, 26 more days left in the year of 2020. Are we excited about that? Have we decided? on our new goals for 21, 2021. 23 more seconds. Remember, write down your goals. Let's start this week. I challenge you. Goals, January. But why wait till January? You have 25 more days to get a jump start on those goals. <laughs> why put off today, right? 45 degree lunges with a circle. Grabbing my resistance, 45 seconds of work. Let's work guys, weights down at the hip, rotating overhead, extending down towards that lateral lunge. Nice. All right, talk about stability, control, balance, engaging that core, those shoulders, that lower body, let's go in and alternate. Right legs out, 45 degree lunge. Good, good, good. Eight more seconds of work here. Five more seconds. Good, dropping that knee down, hovering against the floor. Two, one, time. All right, 20 seconds of rest here. You've earned it for that one. Bent over rows. 
Again, if we need to scale down, let's take it to the seat for a low impact variation, a low modification, and give me a two pause at the top. Drop that down, squeezing those shoulder blades together. We're working, guys, we're working. Let's go with the band this round. We have a band, again, squeeze. Feet are shoulder width apart. Your chest is tall. Nice and proud chest, squeezing those elbows back towards the wall and shoulder blades together. 20 more seconds of work here. Good job. Keep it up. You are doing that bent over row. Keep that head in a neutral position, hinging at the hips, soft bend at the knee. Five more seconds here. Keep rowing. Three, two, one. Time. All right. Two down, two to go. Squat to press. Again, if you would like to do one or the other, by all means, let's do that. Either a squat for the 40 or the press for the 40. All right, we're working here. 40 seconds of work here. Remember to drop those hips down to your comfort level. If you are here with that weight, that's fine. Keep that chest up, keep that head in a neutral position. Extending those arms overhead. Your biceps should be near your ears. 10 more seconds here. Powering, pushing up, driving up through those heels. Three more seconds. Two, stay with it. One. All right. Good job. We're on the deck now. We're on the floor for those T push ups. <laughs> All right. Limited rest here. Five more seconds. All right, get ready. Two, one, and we're rotating. A tip here, if you extend the feet where your feet are planted, instead of shoulder width apart, maybe they're a little wider, that'll give you a little more stability on that rotation. The same goes with push-ups. Same goes with ab circuits. The wider your feet stance is, the more stability you'll have. Good job, five more seconds. Keep pushing. Three, two, one. Good job, team. Two rounds down, two rounds are flying. Straighten your leg. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Anybody send any photos in the snow? <laughs> Staying active, this is what it's all about. Small victories, small wins, 1% at a time, day by day, 1% better each day. I can say that things are warming up now. <laughs> 20 seconds of rest here, catch your breath, shake it out, shake out your body, shake out your arms, shake out your legs. 10 more seconds here, 45 degree lunges with a circle. If you have a dumbbell, one single dumbbell, let's go ahead and go to our left lunge here. Right hip, we are over, down to our left quad here. Again, we wanna target that 45 degree angle, really opening up our hips. Not every lunge that we do, it's forward or backward. Let's go ahead and alternate. Right lunge out. Back to that circle. So incorporating a different angle in the lunge can recruit different muscle fibers. There you go. Three, two, grab that last rep. And time. 20 seconds of rest here. And we are moving into bent over rows. If you have the option of a band, but don't have an option of securing it anywhere, go ahead and hold your band out if it's this long here. And we're working here, 40 seconds of work, guys. I just want you to squeeze that band. Keep tension on that band. 
and it should hit mid chest here. Same variation here, same modification as that bent over row or a fly, but the same goal in mind to target that mid to upper back and your lats here. 10 more seconds of work. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. It's important that you keep that spine alignment through that bent over row. That is key. We don't want to have any injuries here. Eight more seconds of rest, and we are jumping into that squat to overhead press. Feet shoulder width apart. We are racking that weight, hinging at the hips, dropping those hips down. Elbows are tucked in inside of your knees and extending overhead to that press position. Again, pick a weight that's comfortable yet challenging to you. 15 more seconds of work here. Leading with your hips back first. Keeping that back nice and flat. Don't round out your back here. Three, two, one. Time, good work. Good work, BFIT Nation. Good work. Your favorite, my favorite, T push-ups are up next. All right, in five. When it gets tough, don't forget to smile. Give me that smile here. <laughs> when you rotate up, smile. 35 seconds on the clock here. <sighs> Again, if we need to modify, let's come off our knees into that push-up position. Or you have the option to sustain for 20 more seconds here into that high plank position. Okay, give me that high plank for 13 more seconds. Hold it, hold it. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Good work, awesome work team, awesome work. This workout is flying by. Three rounds done, one more to go. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Grab water, towel off, compose ourselves. Think about scaling up this round, last round, best round. I drink about a gallon of water a day. That is my goal. Stay hydrated, guys. 15 more seconds, and we will go into that 45 degree lunge with a circle. If we need to scale down, take out the circle, obviously, and just go into that lunge. Wherever that comfort level is, wherever your hip mobility is, your flexibility, let's go, let's go to work, guys. 40 seconds on the clock here, 20 seconds each leg, 45 degree lunge, dropping that rear knee down, hovering over the floor, your front loaded leg, should be at a 90 degree. Your knee, your front knee should be tracking over your toes. All right, alternate legs here. 15 seconds on the clock. Good, nice and smooth here. Five more seconds. Incorporating some abdominal work here when we're at it. Two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest. Bent over rows are up next. Again, we are seated for these bent over rows. Go ahead and give me a slight hinge at the hips here. Squeezing up top for two seconds. One, two, lower back down. All right, 40 seconds on the clock, let's work. Hinging at the hips here, feet are shoulder width apart. Knees have a soft bend in them. We are looking straight down here. Pick a spot, your favorite spot on the floor and lock in, squeezing at the top here. Let's go for quality here. Building up that strength in our back, 
10 more seconds. We need to alternate. Let's do it guys for five more seconds. Up the tempo, two, one, time. Good work team, good work. Put one of these dumbbells away. Squat to overhead press. Again, last round. If we feel that we can challenge ourselves and go up in weight, let's do it. If we are here, squat to overhead press, we're working here, 40 seconds on the clock. We do not have any resistance. Let's still get that squat to overhead press. Make those tight fists for me. And if we want to sit back in a chair and stand up in a chair and break it down into separate movements, that's where we're at. That is all good. 10 more seconds on the clock here. Five seconds, four, last reps, two reps, two reps. And time. Good work team, good work. All right. Last round, best round. Last set, best set. We are on in seven. Five, four, three, two, in that high plank position. And we're working here. Again, your feet, the wider that you have your stance, the more stable you will feel. If we need to push up, let's drop down to our knees to scale down. All right. Do you want to hold that high plank and rotate here? Let's do it, guys. Halfway there. 10 more seconds. A generous 10. Eight. Keep pushing. Last reps in. Last set. Last set. Three, two, one. One for good measure. And time. <laughs> All right, BFIT Nation. How did you do? How did you do? How did we do, team? With me, did you scale up? Did you pace with me? <laughs> you may have been faster than me. I know, y'all rock. Y'all absolutely crush it each and every Monday. <laughs> As I catch my breath. Ah, Y'all are so great. Once again, BFIT Live, every Monday, we are here for you, to move with you, to stay active with you, to strengthen you, to build each other up as a community, week after week, day after day. We are here for one another. Leave something inspiring for other people to read to motivate, to encourage. Uh, 2020, I feel, is a year of encouragement, the year of motivation, the year of supporting one another. So great job to everyone. Thank you for always being accepting, being allowing, uh, and pushing yourselves, challenging yourselves, making yourself better day by day, week by week. Staying with us. And from myself, Roy, and from our BFIT Nation, from our BFIT team, have a great week, have a great rest of your Monday, and we will see you next week. Stay, stay ready, stay fit, and stay strong. All right, guys.